All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our Hermiston Jazz Night. We've got uh, the two big bands for you tonight, the Sandstone Band and the High School Band. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to have four of our soloists from the two different schools uh, come out and share some of what they've been working on with you. So uh, first and foremost, uh, not jazz at all, but uh, he's been working up for solo and ensemble. Let's hear it for Kyle Ketcherson on the bassoon.
All right, next up we'll hear the Sandstone Jazz Band. So these kids are, just a couple weeks ago, we took off to the Lyman-Hampton Jazz Festival uh, over in Idaho. We spent uh, four days there, clinics, workshops, concerts, all that, but uh, we also got to compete and uh, perform our sets for judges and clinicians. And so just to share a little bit of some of the feedback and the results from that. So the, the big band that you see before you was scored, the, the rating system that they give you is, you know, poor, fair, good, excellent, superior. The big band scored excellent. Uh, and we did, we, we placed sort of middle of the pack. There were about 22 middle schools. We placed 10th, uh, which is actually, is for a middle school like us, is quite impressive because I did some, some uh, research. And of the nine middle schools ahead of us, Eight of those middle schools uh, have a thousand students or more. So, for reference, Sandstone is about 550, and seven of those schools were from Seattle. So, I prefer to think of it as we were the third place not Seattle school and the second place under a thousand students school. So. And uh, the one thing that we can compare uh, apples to apples, though, are individual students. And we also had three students who took it upon themselves to compete as soloists as well, which is just uh, them and their instrument and a rhythm section. It's very exposed, very vulnerable. And out of all the soloists, our three, which are uh, Dan, raise your hand, Liz, and Amy, who we'll hear from after the big band, uh, they placed fourth, second, and first at the whole competition. Our first selection is going to be Things Ain't What They Used To Be. And uh, for this one, everybody learned the changes and had a solo. At the competition, we had the judges just pull names out of a hat to see who's going. Uh, tonight, we took volunteers. So we're going to hear from Landon and Kyle. And the third person to volunteer was Neve. So Neve, OK. Uh, when Landon's going, just start uh, creeping your way up here. So we're just going to have uh, Neve come up and scat a little bit for you, because that's what jazz is all about. So here we go. Things ain't what they used to be. Thank you. 
This next piece I, uh, I bought specifically for us to perform at this festival. So uh, the end of the culmination of every day is this uh, big giant. It's in the uh, football stadium. The U of I has an indoor football stadium, so they do it's just these gigantic concerts with these these big name Grammy award winning big bands and musicians. And uh, one of the bands that we got to see, uh, it was absolutely fantastic, it was the Vanguard Jazz Orchestra. And the Vanguard Jazz Orchestra started uh, in the 1960s. Um, it was, the, at that time, the Thad Jones Mel Lewis Jazz Orchestra, those two men were the directors of it. They got hired to play a couple Monday nights uh, in February of 1967. Um, and it was so popular that the director of the nightclub said, let's just keep this going. We'll have you every Monday night until it peters off. And uh, it's 52 years later, and they have played every Monday night since 1967. Uh, and so this was our tribute to the man who, who started that band that we got to see. It was absolutely incredible, super inspiring. The kids got master classes with the uh, folks who played their instrument in that band. And so this is Remembering Thad uh, for Thad Jones. It'll feature Elizabeth. Thank you. 
tune that we'd like to play for you. This is a Gordon Goodwin chart called Maynard and Wainard. Uh, this was written for Maynard Ferguson, who was one of the, uh, the great um, lead trumpet players of the, really the 50s until 2006 and his death. Uh, if you ever saw the Rocky franchise, you've, you've heard his playing. He does the, uh, the Rocky theme and theme from Shaft and all kinds of movie soundtracks and stuff from there. Uh, I was written for him and Wayne Bergeron, who is the lead trumpet player of Gordon Goodwin's Big Fat Band, uh, if you've ever heard them. Before we do that, there's a couple people I'd like to recognize. I don't know if any of you uh, wake up in the morning and have great urges to take 21, 12, and 13, 14 year olds on a four day trip. But uh, if you do, you should seek professional help because it's, uh, it's quite an undertaking and uh, I owe a lot of gratitude to our chaperones that came along with us. So if, if you chaperone that trip, I'll call your name out if you wouldn't mind just standing up so we can uh, give you your due. We had Patty Schultz along with us, Annie Contreras, uh, Ben and Missy Doherty, came along, and uh, we also had my parents, who were not Mr. Allen, because I'm Mr. Allen, so we had Mr. Mr. Allen, and Mrs. Mr. Mr. Allen, uh, who were super invaluable in, in helping all this, so a big hand for them. Too. And we'll conclude our part of tonight's set with uh, Maynard and Wiener.
and we'll have a quick transition here and we're going to have each of those three students that uh, that I mentioned earlier that participated in the solo competition they're going to play one of their tunes uh, each for you uh, next so first up is going to be Amy Wooster on And accompanying our soloists, as they did in Idaho, our Chance Longhorn on the piano. And I'm just going to take a stab in the dark. Conrad Shanowski? Yeah. Uh, close enough. Okay. Close enough for jazz, in the immortal words of, of Dizzy Gillespie. It's close enough for jazz. Uh, and they have been super valuable. We had all these rehearsals lined up for them to get with the kids and uh, it was a snow day. On every, they were all on Tuesdays and Thursdays and just every single time without fail it was a snow day. So on I believe one rehearsal with each of the kids they were able to uh, accompany them and obviously do a fine job. They, they made our kids sound great. We, we placed fourth, second, and first out of all the soloists. Kids from Seattle and Portland and everywhere. So uh, no small feat at all and without further ado let's hear Amy Wooster.
order a little bit here. Uh, on the program it says Liz will be next and then Dan, but we're going to flip flop those two. So next up is Dan Contreras.
while Liz gets set up, I uh, think it's worth mentioning for Amy and Liz, they did this competition last year as seventh graders. They also did as soloists. So I decided that after you've done it once, you no longer are provided with music. Um, and a lot of times what they do in, in jazz music is they'll transcribe a tune, which is where you just, you listen to, you find a recording of it that you like, you listen to the record a million times, and then you just, you start to play along with it and figure out what it is. So uh, for Amy and Liz, I, I forced them to, with no music, just listen to the records and figure out the music. So uh, we'll hear Liz's transcription of Dizzy Gillespie's Con Alma, and then we'll get the high school big band out here and send us on.
Hello, everyone. My name is Sean McClanahan. I'm the band director at the high school. This is the Hermiston High School Jazz Ensemble, and uh, they are going to play four charts for you today. Uh, I apologize uh, before we start uh, um, for, I, I meant to wear a suit. Uh, I got dressed in a hurry, and I'm partially colorblind. You could make a comment about my tie and my shirt combination if you want. Uh, but uh, I put on the wrong jacket. It's a dark, dark blue jacket, and I didn't pick up the blue, uh, and I thought it matched my black tuxedo. So I got here, and I found out that it didn't. So, sorry. Um, so uh, the first chart we're going to play for you is called Work in Progress. This is another Gordon Goodwin tune. This was the uh, same composer that uh, composed the final chart from the Sandstones group. This is going to feature two trumpets, Logan Daniel and Jesse Bassey. Oh. 
set change. I made a challenge to Mr. Allen right before the concert started that he couldn't play the trombone and he said, hey man, I'll bet I can. And uh, he, uh, we're missing a part and uh, he was uh, very gracious and obliged and uh, stepped in to cover uh, trombone three for us. Um, and this is a Stan Canton chart uh, that was written in the 70s and my original trombone teacher was the solo jazz or trombone player for the Stankin Jazz Band for a long period of time. Um, and uh, this is called the Little Minor Booze. Uh, we, when we played this chart, I just want you to know parents, there was absolutely no discussion about the title other than the title. Uh, we didn't talk about anything major booze, min minor, we didn't talk anything at all, just, just the name of the, of the chart. Okay, I thought that one was going to go over better. Um, so, uh, and I just want to point out uh, that these, uh, this ensemble in front of you did a tremendous job this year. Uh, sorry, this this concert cycle. I think since the beginning of January, we've rehearsed maybe four times, three times uh, between my daughter's. Uh, my daughter had a big health scare, and then uh, we had snow every other day. Uh, I think we met about five times. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a fun, fun concert cycle. Looking forward to the next one. Um, and uh, but uh, the group, this is a uh, a really fun tune to put together, and I hope you enjoy. This is going to feature Kyle Ketchersid on the alto saxophone and Tyler Michael on the trumpet, and it is going to start out with a fantastic trombone feature, featuring. Mr. Eric Alby on first trombone. Here is the little minor moves.
So, uh, <clears throat> this next chart is going to give everybody a chance to pull out your Ben and Jerry's uh, and snuggle up on the couch uh, and really be introspective. Uh, this is called Alone Again Naturally. Uh, and so, I think it's about breakup. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, from the 70s, this is the Woody Herman chart. And I uh, really, uh, when I was looking through the library, trying to pick charts for, the, for this concert, pulled, or came across it, looked like it hadn't been touched since the 70s. And I looked it up on YouTube and really, really dug it. Um, this is going to feature uh, Eric Balbi on the trombone. Uh, at the beginning, it's going to feature the trumpet section, it's going to feature myself on trombone, it's going to feature the saxophone section, and I just want to give a shout out uh, for minor boots. Can we give the rhythm section a big hand? Because they really killed it on the way. <laughs> what most people do with five fingers on their right hand, Chance Longhorn does with at least three. But he kills it anyway. Okay, so this is Alone Again Naturally.
finally free tonight. By the way, thank you very much for coming out and supporting uh, music at Hermiston High School. On Thursday of this week, just a little bit of upcoming events, the bands, the concert band, symphonic band and wind ensemble, as well as the percussion ensemble, will be putting on a concert. It's going to be a really fabulous evening. Uh, please come out and support it. Uh, there's going to be uh, a lot of interesting and new music, uh, and the bands are doing really well with it. Um, so please come out and check it out. The choirs are having their concert on Tuesday of next week. And they will be, uh, oh, the, both the bands and the choirs are gearing up for our festivals, uh, which for the choir happen next week, and for the bands happen the, the Monday afterwards. Uh, <clears throat> after spring break, we are going to do our big district-wide hullabaloo in the gym, the best place to do a concert. And uh, this is going to feature all of the bands and all of the choirs from both middle schools and the high school. And we're going to pack the floor of the gym. And if you haven't been to it, it's, it's really, it's an event. Uh, the, the whole gym floor is packed. The bleachers are packed. And uh, surprisingly, it's a really quick concert, too. Um, and uh, then we have our final batch of concerts in May. But uh, that district-wide concert is Thursday, April 11th. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there. We're, our feature at the end, with all the bands and the choirs, is going to be a Beatles medley. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this last chart is a uh, Chris Sharp. Uh, I think this is the first chart I've done by his, or of, of his. Uh, but it's a really cool one. This is a Latin chart. Uh, it's called Give Me Samba That. And I believe this is about a, a pestilent child that doesn't want, that, that's maybe a little bit uh, sad that, you know, they can't have something that they want. Um, I like to make stories for everything. And uh, this is going to feature Kyle Ketchersid on the alto saxophone and Mr. Carter Garrett on the trumpet. That's that instrument. Okay, here it is. Give me some of that. Thank <laughs> you. 